Cryptocurrency is something that's been on people's minds for years. When it started out, many people thought that it would just be a fad that would blow over. Instead, it became an important and valuable currency that has made people loads of money. But crypto can still seem very intimidating to regular people, and crypto mining can be even scarier. But it is possible, so let's find out how. This is how to start mining cryptocurrency from home. Please remember to hit the like button if you enjoy this video, then subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications. That way, you'll never miss anything. A few things to remember before you get started. Before you get started, you should remember that cryptocurrency can be very volatile market, take a long time before you make money, or you could lose it all. So according to experts, a good rule of thumb is that you should never invest more into crypto than you're willing to lose. That includes the investment you make to get started too. Don't use more money to get started than you can afford because you think it'll start making money quickly. This might not be the case, and that's where a lot of people make a mistake and go broke before they even start making any profit. The only thing to remember before you get started is that there's really no need to be scared of the mining crypto. It's the machine and the system that does the work and makes the calculations that are needed. You don't have to be a tech genius to start mining crypto. Your job is just to make sure that the system works and that it's taken care of at all times. And normally, you can get some pretty detailed instructions on how to care for your system. Can you use existing devices? There's a lot of programs being advertised that say that they can work on the existing devices that you already own. And yes, it is possible to use these but you aren't really going to make any money. The processing power and speed is just too small on most devices to really work. So if you just want to get a feel for mining first without actually expecting to make any money, then yes, it's possible to use these devices. But if you really want to make money, then you'll need to get the hardware that can really work. Choosing what to mine. There are loads of cryptos available out there, so it's very hard to pick exactly which type of crypto to start with. Do your homework and check which ones would work for you. Something like Bitcoin is super valuable, and if you manage to mine some, it'll be a huge profit. But they are much more scarce than some of the other cryptos because so many of these coins have already been mined. Or you could start out with a relatively new crypto that's readily available and much easier to mine and collect. But the con to that is that it could have very little value at the start when you're mining them. So you need to hold on to them for a few years to allow their value to grow. If you can afford to do that, it might be a really great investment depending if it's a crypto that becomes really valuable eventually. But there's also cryptos that are somewhere in between that are most available but have a bit more value already. There is a lot to consider, but by reading a little bit about a few different cryptos, you should be able to find one that's perfect for you. What hardware to buy? Then if you do want to get started seriously, you need to consider what pieces of hardware you need to buy. There's a lot of crypto machines available for all sorts of prices. Generally, it depends on its processing power and speed. The more power you have, the quicker the machine works and the faster you're able to mine crypto. At the same time, the more powerful the machine is, the more expensive they are to buy in the first place. If you need to figure out what budget can work for you, then get as powerful a machine as you're able to afford. Again, don't buy more than you can afford right away because bargaining on starting to make your investment back right away might not work out for you. You can also upgrade later when you're starting to make bank instead of going broke before you get any money back. Energy consumption. These machines take a lot of energy to run, so it could push your power bill up quite a bit. Running costs could be pretty high. So many have set up alternative electricity supplies to run your your mining rig. Some have installed things like solar power systems for the main reason to mine crypto. But something that might be worth looking into could be your area's thoughts on crypto mining and if there aren't some sort of arrangement for electricity supply when mining crypto. There are areas that are willing to give you a supply of cheaper than normal electricity in order to help the area's economic growth. But this first startup cost still needs to be considered before you get started. Heat and noise. The final thing to consider before you start is where you're going to set up your operation. These machines create a lot of heat and noise. So some have set it up on a separate outside room or in their garage, but you need to make sure that the circuit you have is able to handle this energy consumption. Then you need to make sure that the noise won't be a massive pain for you or your neighbors and that the room is relatively cool. Otherwise, you're going to have a problem with your system continuously overheating. That can lead to massive frustration. Also, if the heat is connected to any sort of living area, it could create problems in the long run. In winter, it could be great. You have your heat supply running, warming everything up, but in the summer it'll not be pleasant and can create havoc. So choose wisely. Set up your rig. After you have bought your hardware and carefully considered where it needs to be set up, it's time to set up your mining rig. This is where all the magic's going to happen. At this stage, you will already have the information that you need to set it up. And rest assured, this is one of the most difficult parts. When things are all set up and ready to run, then it'll all get much easier. Set up your software. Besides all of the hardware that you need to give you the power and speed to mine crypto, 
and be profitable, you still need software to connect you to the clients and networks. These programs will give you all the information that you need and will let you know how the mining is actually going. It'll give you everything from statistics to information like what your mining speed is, allows you to connect to networks and to know what your system is doing. There are a few different programs that you can install, for example, Bitcoin mining software like EasyMine or CG Miner. Where are you going to store your coins? So your software is ready to go, your rig is set up, and you're almost ready to start mining, but you'll need a plan where you're going to store your coins that you mine. So you need to set up a digital wallet where you can store your currency for later use. These wallets are just like a real wallet in the sense that you store your own personal funds. But they're also like bank accounts for your digital currencies. They normally have two keys to be able to access those funds. You have a private key and a public key that is vital that you need to keep safe. Without those keys, it's pretty much impossible to ever reach those funds again. They're gone. You do not want to lose these keys after all the hard work and investment that you made. The public key acts as your account number and allows you to receive payments. So keep these keys super safe. Choose a mining pool. You can mine on your own and without a mining pool, but most miners believe that joining a mining pool makes more sense. Each person in the pool gets their cut of the profits depending on the percentage of contribution you made and how much processing you brought to the table. It's like a group project, but the only difference is that each person only gets profits out of according to what they put in. So it is really fair. And because there are many different systems working on the problems to solve them, it's more likely that you'll make more profits faster. But you do need to consider that in theory, you could make a bigger profit on your own each time your system cracks a code. But it is likely to take a much longer to do it. So especially when you're starting out, a mining pool could work better. It all depends on the compromise you're willing to make. One of the largest pools around is Ant Pool, but there are lots of other common ones around like One Hash or Bat Pool too. You could even consider using a smaller pool that takes a bit longer to mine but gives you a bigger profit. Lots of choices to make. Let the machine do its work. Now you've set up everything and made all the choices that you need to make, like deciding which currency you want to mine or if you're going to use a mining pool. This is when things become a lot simpler. It comes down to letting your machine and system do the work. Like we said, your biggest job after all of this is just to make sure that your system is working and to monitor it so that it doesn't overheat and stop working. The machine will mine for you. The hard part is done and it just gets easier. Crypto mining from home is very possible. Thanks for watching.